Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. Today we are going to talk about food irradiation. Imagine a world where the food we consume lasts longer, is safer and retains its freshness without the use of chemicals. That is not a new age concept. In fact, food irradiation has roots that go back several decades. Historically, the technology was first explored as a method to akin to canning or pasteurization with the core objective of sterilizing food and extending its shelf life. So what is exactly is food irradiation? Food irradiation is a food safety process that uses irradiation to kill germs that can cause food poisoning. Food irradiation is safe and its safety and efficacy have been endorsed by various federal agencies and intergovernmental organizations. It does not change the texture or appearance of food and does not make food radioactive. Now let's learn the procedure of food irradiation. The food is exposed to ionizing radiation either from gamma rays or a high energy electron beam or powerful x-rays. Gamma rays and x-rays are a form of radiation that shares some characteristic with microwaves but with much higher energy and penetration. The rays pass through the food just like microwaves in a microwave oven but the food does not heat up to any significant extent. Exposure to gamma rays does not make food radioactive. Electron beams and X-rays are produced using electricity, which can be switched on or off, and they do not require radioactive material. In both cases, organisms that are responsible for food spoiling, such as insects, molds, and bacteria, including some important food poisoning bacteria, can be killed. Food irradiation cannot kill viruses. Food irradiation is a technology used in food science to improve the safety and extend the shelf life of foods by reducing or eliminating microorganisms and insects. Let's delve deeper into its various uses. First one is preservation. There are two uses as shelf life extension and delay in ripening. In the case of shelf life extension, radiation can substantially reduce spoilage microorganisms extending the shelf life of many foods, for instance meats Poultry and seafood can be preserved for longer periods without spoilage. And for fruits that continue to ripen after harvest, irradiation can be used to slow down the ripening process and the maturation process. This means fruits can stay fresh for longer, especially beneficial for transportation over long distances. Then, we can use irradiation for sanitation and pathogen control. In that case, elimination of pathogen and parasite control can be practiced. In the case of elimination of pathogens, dangerous pathogens such as E. coli, salmonella and listeria can be present in various foods. Irradiation can significantly reduce or completely eliminate these pathogens, making food safer for consumption. Then, foods like pork might sometimes have parasites. Irradiation can kill these parasites, ensuring the meat is safe to eat. Also, irradiation can be used to control insects. Cereals, dried fruits and nuts are prone to infestation by pets, like weevils and moths. Irradiation can effectively control these pets without the need for fumigants or other chemicals. 
and also to prevent the introduction of foreign pets into countries imported fruits and vegetables can be radiated as a quarantine measure this ensure that any potential pest in the imported goods are neutralized then irradiation can be used to sprout inhibition crops like potatoes onions and garlic tend to sprout after a certain period irradiation can delay or inhibit the sprouting ensuring they remain fresh and maintain their quality for longer the other use is enzyme inhibition enzymatic action can lead to change in color flavor or texture in certain foods irradiation can inhibit certain enzymes preventing these undesirable changes then sterilization also can be done using irradiation foods can be sterilized using radiation meaning all microorganisms are killed such sterilized foods can be stored at room temperature for years without spoiling this approach has been used for astronauts meals and can also benefit patients with severely compromised immune systems also irradiation can be used for rehydratable foods after irradiation some foods can be dried and later rehydrated because they are free from microorganisms this food can be safely reconstituted with water without the need for cooking one of the main advantages of food irradiation over traditional method is that it can effectively kill pathogens without significantly altering the food's texture flavor or nutritional value it's a cold process which means food are not exposed to high temperatures also radiation offers a multifaceted approach to ensuring food safety prolonging shelf life and meeting specific goals in food science and technology as research continues and technology advances the application of radiation in food science are likely to expand even further however some foods such as dairy foods and eggs cannot be radiated because it causes changes in flavor or texture fruits vegetables grain foods spices and meats can be radiated irradiation causes minimal changes to the chemical composition of food however it can alter the nutrient content of some foods because it reduces the level of some of the b group vitamins this loss is similar to those that occur when food is cooked or preserved in more traditional and accepted ways such as canning or blanching however more research are needed to confirm these effects although food irradiation helps so many ways for the food industry people have expressed a number of concerns in relation to food irradiation radioactivity a belief that irradiated food is radioactive and therefore harmful to eat irradiated food do not become radioactive Extensive testing has demonstrated that irradiating food is as safe as canning, pasteurizing and freezing. Then Australian consumers have indicated they want to be able to choose between irradiated and not irradiated foods. However, this is regulated by FSANZ through mandatory labeling. Also there are some concerns that the extensive use of this method of food preservation may result in less stringent food hygiene and handling practices. Irradiation is not a substitute for good hygienic pra- practices. Also there are concerns that irradiation will make it difficult to tell if foods are old or have gone off because normal indicators like smell or molds are destroyed by irradiation. The other concern is that food irradiation is driven purely by market needs rather than consumer demand. 
If a food has been irradiated or contain irradiated ingredients or components, it must be labeled with the statement that the food ingredients or component have been treated with ionizing radiation. If a food product does not have a label, the statement must be displayed in a close proximity to the food. In addition to mandatory labeling, irradiation uh, food may also be marked with a symbol called Radura, which is the international symbol for irradiation. Food irradiation can only be used if it fulfills the technological needs or it's necessary for a safety or food hygienic purpose. It does not replace the need for correct food handling practices in industry and in the home. For instance, a few bacteria may survive the irradiation of meat. If the meat is left unrefrigerated, these bacteria could still multiply and cause food poisoning. Food irradiation is more than just a scientific method. It's testament to human ingenuity is ensuring food safety and longevity. As we navigate the future of food science, it is essential to stay informed, curious and open-minded. So thank you for joining me on this journey and if you found this in insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.